Greetings once again from the Nerd Cave, Paha Sapa, the place where the Lakota people come to pray for the state of the world. Stan Jibalisco here. Let me just turn down the uh, Nerd Cave ham radio equipment so I can instruct you a little more on what I'm going to do with this wood stove of mine here. Once in a while, you're going to get a situation where the fire gets anemic. And there can be two reasons for that. Either you leave it too long, and you just have ash, glowing embers, or, for some reason or another, your logs are there, but they just don't seem to be real eager to, to burn. What you can do sometimes, you can take your poker. See your poker? <clears throat> Remember to wear your gloves, and your flame retardant clothing, long sleeve shirt, long pants, safety glasses. You want to wear long pants so that your leg doesn't come into contact inadvertently with that wood stove. You know, if your leg doesn't find it, it'll find your leg. If it's bare, it'll burn you sooner or later. Take my word for it. So you stir this thing up. Now, I showed you how you can use paper towels to get that thing going sometimes, but there's another way. When the fire gets in it too, you're, you're more likely to get smoke starting to back up in the house. But shut one of the doors like this. Open the other one about halfway like that. That will create a vortex of air in there as the air gets pulled in through this one door like that, okay? That vortex will cause the air to flow more rapidly over that wood and over those embers and it'll help to get them a little hotter. And you can do the same thing the other way around get the vortex going the other way around. Then you're going to need some small dry pieces of wood. Now you can use paper towels again if you have to, but those things cost pretty close to a dollar a roll. That's not a real cheap way to go. So once you got those embers glowing a little brighter, you got a little bit of flame, put a little kindling wood on there, put a little wood on there like that. Now notice I'm putting my hands right in there, but they're covered with these very, very, very good gloves that are flame retardant and insulated for cold weather. Well, uh, whatever will insulate and keep the heat in for your hands will also keep external heat out to a point. Then you leave that you leave that door open like that about maybe a 45 degree angle or something like that. You're going to get this vortex going in there and it's going to be like a little tornado in there. Then your chimney's going to suck that air up now there's another thing you need to be cognizant of when you're running one of these stoves. I had some vegetables and other stuff cooking upstairs and I had the exhaust fan going over the range. That exhaust fan creates negative pressure in the house. If you have that negative pressure in the house and you have very many fans like that, even one of them sometimes enough, or reduce the draft that your wood stove can get. So to maximize the strength of this vortex, make sure all those exhaust fans that you might have in your kitchen or your bathroom or places like that, make sure they're off so that you will not get any negative pressure and your wood stove will get the greatest possible. See, now we got a little fire going. Now that we got a little fire going, switch that vortex around, get it going from the other direction, give the fire a hurricane from one side, then a little hurricane 
From the other side, stick a little more wood on there. Make sure those clothes of yours are flame retardant. I remember I had an experience once at the fraternity that I went to school in the University of Minnesota. I went to school at a fraternity. All right, well, yeah, I went to school at a fraternity, all right. Did I ever. But here's the deal. I was replacing a light bulb in their ceiling, and it sparked. The fixture was old and defective, and it sparked. The spark showered down and hit my shirt, and that shirt happened to be a, of a material that would just catch fire and burn at the slightest provocation. Maybe I wish I'd had a shirt like that to kindle my wood stoves with, because that thing went up like a torch. I had to roll on the floor to put that fire out so I wouldn't get all wrecked. So here's the deal with that. Make sure that this clothing that you wear is fire retardant. Make sure these gloves are good enough so you can grab right onto that door like that. Not get burned through those gloves. Of course, I wouldn't recommend you stick your hand in there and hold it there. Get it out of there as quick as you can. But once you've got a little wood going in there, now I guess I'm cooking. I guess I'm cooking. I'm going to leave that open just a wee bit for a while to keep that tornado going for a while so that thing doesn't start to die off again on me. Little firestorm in there. Stan Jibalisco signing off from the Black Hills. The Lakota people come to pray here at Pahasapa. Hope they're praying for you and I hope they're praying for me. Until next time, so long.